Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking pork trottle vermicelli or tul ka bee hood. So let's start cooking. Now we'll put our dish together. Heat up your wok, add in just a little bit of oil. Swirl the oil around a little bit. We'll add in our mushrooms. I'm using four pieces of dried mushroom which I rehydrated and cut into halves. Put them in. Now I'm adding in dried mushroom because I love mushrooms and because I want the extra fragrance from the mushroom itself. Now if you don't have it, then it's fine too. We just fry them for a little while just to get the aroma out of the mushrooms. This is a very easy dish to put together and it's so much economical to cook this at home. Right, once you can smell the mushrooms, we'll add in our pork trotters. Two cans of pork trotters, pour them all in. You can get these canned pork trotters from any Chinese provisional store or supermarket. Right, we'll just move them around a little bit and let it come to a boil. I'm using medium heat for this. Once it starts to boil like this, we'll add in our vermicelli. Before soaking, this is 200 grams, so you soak in water until it's limp like this. Just pour everything in. Mix it up well. Vermicelli absorb liquid very, very easily. So we'll be adding in a little bit of water in a while. But let us just let this soak in the beautiful sauce from the pork trotters first. Right, once you have mixed them up well, you'll add in the rest of our seasonings. Add in 200 milliliters of water. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. and two tablespoons of dark soya sauce. Keep mixing them up. We'll let the vermicelli absorb the sauce for a while. We like our dish to be a little bit saucy. That's the reason why I'm adding in water. Of course, if you want it drier, you can just omit the water. Now we'll put the lid on. Embrace this for approximately one to two minutes. I'll see you back in a while. Two minutes is up, let's have a look. Wow, smells really, really good. Add in your favorite greens. I'm using Chai Sing over here. You can use broccoli or kailan, it's really up to you. All right, mix them up well. Look at how beautiful this is. Chai Sing cooks very fast, so we don't have to cook this for long. Now I'm leaving a little bit more sauce over here because if you're not eating immediately, the vermicelli will soak up more sauce actually. So final step, Add in one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. Mix it up well. Put the lid back on. Turn off the flame. And we'll serve this after 10 seconds. The reason why I'm doing so is because the vermicelli will absorb the sauce better and the steam will help to make the vermicelli more bouncy. And it's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, I love, love, love this. Mm. The vermicelli has absorbed the beautiful sauce very, very well. Very flavorful, super delicious. I love this. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. And now it's your turn to cook. Bye-bye.